Well, it's last day of the year, and it's uh, pretty wet and chilly here in California. I got my uh, winter shorts on, and we're fixing on going to pick and pull. Wife's car here. Because they have a 2013 Nissan Leaf. So let me get my random pick and pull toolkit. And when you play the conversion game, you're carrying metrics and standards. It's so cold. How cold is it? Well, it's so cold the tailgate doesn't stay up. Let's see if it makes a liar out of me. Well, I'm a wuss. I guess it does stay up, probably because I'm making a video. So let's tool up. This is uh, across town. It's 25 miles away from our house. We're pretty blessed with a, one of the biggest wrecking yards. I think it's pretty much world famous. They tell me they ship to like East Coast all the time. So one bag is standard tools. One bag is metric tools and we got more tools to grab. And I always forget stuff. But I'm not sure if we're gonna pull this Nissan Leaf stack. I just wanna see like what shape it's in. Might need that. These are my metric sockets. Grab them for the heck of it. <laughs> Say bye to uh, Dusty. We could take the truck, but then I would have to charge when I'm there because it, <clears throat> it's 25 miles away and my range is only 30 miles at the time. Anyway, I'll see you guys at the yard. All right, guys, we're about to pull up to this pick and pull and uh, this yard is massive, okay? I kid you not. Yeah, I'm being that guy. The amateur videographer here. Doing this for science. Yeah, it's a huge place. I like it. Here we are. So here we are guys, and uh, this is a big ass place. I love it. Uh, I think we're looking for row 63. The nice thing about Pick and Pull is their website. You can go do an inventory search. So they number their rows pretty nicely. Like that's row 46. And then we're coming up on row 47 and we gotta make it all the way down to row 63. And this is just one of the many aisles, okay? So, we're gonna come up to this crossroads and I'll show you how massive this place is. It's big. All right, guys, row 63. Let's see if we can find it. Here we go. I think it was silver. Again, you can use the online inventory search. It's pretty cool. It doesn't show you what is available on the car, just show you that they have it. 
here she is. Look at this thing. It's beautiful. Looks like it's uh, been nibbled on already. This is the uh, same year that we'll, my wife and I leased for three years. Ridiculous lease offer. It was $211, I think, a year. And so that was less than our 97 Chevy Tahoe for fuel. So it was a no-brainer. So we released it for three years. We'll take a closer look at this thing. So the first thing I want to show you is underneath that the battery pack is gone. And I am going snorkeling right now for you guys. So hopefully you can see underneath the cavity under its belly. The battery pack is gone. I think these were 24 uh, kilowatt hour battery packs, uh, good for about 80 miles. We had ours and loved it. And sometimes it charged to like 101 miles, sometimes like 93 miles. But as soon as you drove, drove down the driveway, it would settle in quickly and be like, okay, here's your 84 mile actual range. Um, I'm tempted to pull this stack out of it, you know, uh, but I'm a one man operation today. Sometimes I'll get a buddy to help me. Maybe I can get it out of here one piece at a time, like Johnny Cash said. So this is very unusual to see this thing now hit the wrecking yards. Let's see if I what I'm going to do about it. All right, guys, so what I want to do first and see what's been cut, what hasn't. Uh, so it's got, this is the steering rod and it's here, but the drive axles, I believe, are missing already. Sometimes you can find them in the trunk or something. Um, I would have liked to get those too. I just want to open the hood here. First of all, uh, I want to see if this has that Chademo fast charging or not. Um, actually, I don't really care for it. Uh, it's I think it's a dying standard. It's like a Japanese only standard. And when we had this this model, we charge on Ch Chademo or fast charging like twice. Once at the dealership just to see what it's like. And then the second time, I think to like show somebody what it's like. But we never charged on uh, the Chad demo. Also, uh, we always charge level one, which is just plugged into a regular 110. We never charge level two at home. Uh, although we were homeowners, we never got that wired. We just didn't need to. Wow, this is, it has a slight, slight dent on the driver's side here. So, you know, none of the, orange cables here look cut i am going to go see what they would charge me for this thing and then i'm gonna maybe try to pull it and again like because it's a stack maybe i could one man pull it out one thing at a time or something uh so yeah let's let's see what they want for it maybe i i wish i could get the throttle pedal out of it too but it's like super scrunched and i can always get that later if I do another conversion, I would like to do it where it's all, everything's from the same donor car. It doesn't have to be like maybe from the same car car, but the same uh, year and of course make and model. So I'm dreaming of doing a uh, Monte Carleaf or Monte Carlifo using a Monte Carlo. So let me go ask how much they would want. Not sure if you guys can hear that, but it's like an intercom this thing's been broken for years it's annoying as hell if you're pulling a motor here for like two four hours in the yard this will absolutely drive you bananas so fix it pick and pull well shit check this out i was so excited i totally missed this other 2011 nissan leaf sitting here in the yard same row as our 2013 one down further the thing is that this did not show up on their online inventory. So it always pays to just come out and take a look. And you wanna buy the cars that are 
uh, visibly and obviously wrecked because then you'll know that it's not a mechanical or a motor issue or transmission issue, right? So yeah, this one here looks like it's been kissed in the front on the nose. And I think someone already bought bought the charger out of this one. It probably had a demo in this one. I'm gonna try to open this lid on ours. It might be kind of tempting to get this and put it on Dusty on our truck for all of you who don't like me opening the hood of my truck to charge. Um, diving underneath here. We'll see that once again, the battery's been pulled, you know, and I think this, I don't know if that's unplugged or butchered, those of you more familiar with leaves. That, that other plug looks like it might be unplugged properly. There's the cavity the battery has been pulled. I think this is also the first early pack, which is about 24 kilowatt hours, good for about 80 miles. All right, so I popped this uh, charge lid open and we can see that it has no CHA demo here. That would be the like the high speed charging. Nice little cover. And I would actually prefer this and then we can just see the regular charge port here. That's like a J1772 standard level one, level two charging port. And from here, that orange cable just runs to the to the charger, obviously. And the nice things about these leaves is that they use less orange cables, if you will, high voltage cables, because they're integrated stack, so that it's, uh, I believe it's motor on the bottom. Then in the middle is the inverter probably somewhere down there. And then on the top here, I think that's the charger. I think that's how it works. And of course they call it something like, I don't know, PDM, power distribution module or something. So with my buddy out of town, I don't have any help to pull this. And they quoted me $475, which is kind of high. If it was like $275, I'd be tempted to yank it especially since I really don't have a project planned or in the works, I should say. So there's the axle. I would probably get that with it. When you buy, buy as much shit as you can. You know, you want to buy as much stuff as you can in one. Buy once, cry once, right? You can see the motor mount in the back there. So, and then you can see the one up here. So yeah, because if you if you piece it together later, you're just gonna nickel and dime you to death. But this would have been a nice stack. I wonder if this would have fit under the hood of a Monte Carlo 2000 through 2007. I think it would. It'd be an awesome conversion. And a silver, silver leaf to a silver Monte Carlo. Radical. Well, I'll be out here dreaming. Talk at you later.